to this day, even when I was little, when I saw the finale for Wizard Wizards of Waverly Place, to this day, I still feel like they did Max dirty as hell. Like, they, like, he did not deserve that ending. Hi, everyone. My name's Frankie, and today we're talking about Max Russo and how dirty they did him. I I didn't think about this much. Like, I remember when I saw the finale and how upset I felt about, like, how, like, um, Alex and Justin got to, like, keep their powers after the wizarding competition but max just got the sub shop and i was like that's not fair why would they do that and then i forgot about it but then i was like hey let me read some fan fiction and i actually read this really good fanfic where it was like bringing up how like everybody thinks max is stupid and how they're like oh the reason why max is the way that he is is because like he has adhd and he was just i not diagnosed this entire time because his family hasn't been paying attention to him and that just made me think it's like well that's just how they act towards him in general because this the entire time like when you watch the show they make him like they paint him as like extremely stupid and are they're like ignoring him stuff like that and they're also using him like for example the whole maxine situation all happened because alex and justin were using max's face for their own personal gain which was like i think i haven't seen the episode in a long last time i think it was for the wizarding competition yeah it was for the wizarding competition so they were like using max's face and they accidentally turned max into a girl and like i noticed this when max was in when they turned him into a girl he actually seemed smarter than he usually is and i found that like really weird because i was like okay so you got the, so like you're able to make him smart you're able to show his like good points but you just decide not to like why the thing is alex russo and justin aren't necessarily good people and i i feel like they i feel like alex does not deserve harper harper's too good for her anyways um they like they get all this stuff like because everybody's like they expect them to like one of them to become the family wizard but no one expects max to become the family wizard nor did they like push him up nor did they motivate him and i'm just like looking at him it's like bruh literally the only treat him is like the stupid one the stupid little younger sibling and it's like okay so it's either gonna be alex or justin and then what happens is that when you get to the final episode basically like they're all like competing blah 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 something happens and it's like in the end of it both even though i think technically who won wait okay so i just looked at the clip and the one the first one that I ran through was justin and okay now i remember basically what happened is that justin was like oh my sister saved me she's the one that deserves to win blah 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 and and then they're like okay what if we split the powers between the both of you and then max gets nothing except the sub shop also in the clip uh his mom says okay let's just say we were rooting for max so then uh max had someone rooting for him meaning they didn't expect max to win at all and i'm like bro they had no belief in their son like that's just messed up like that's really messed up i'm like bruh no he's your son honestly the whole concept of the wizarding competition is really stupid to me like why did like why do they all have to lose their magic i i still don't understand that they all should be able to keep their magic and it's like why does there have to be a family wizard why does there have to be a family wizard I just feel like in like shows like this show, they don't always do right by their side characters because like Max is a Russo, but it's like unlike the other members of the family, he's just like he's mainly sidelined, and it's just sad because like we get like focus a lot on like the complexities of the relationship between like 
Justin and Alex, but we don't see the same complexity between Alex and Max or Justin and Max. He's just he's just portrayed as the same one note character. And I know the actor has the range to play him in a more complex way. I haven't seen the Fosters, but I've heard people say good things about his character before they replaced him with, um, what's that guy's name? Noah something, so, uh, Noah something. Noah C. His last name starts with a C, right? Anyways, he's like in everything on Netflix, actually, now that I think about it these days. I guys keep seeing him and I'm like bruh <laughs> get new actors anyways like Max deserve better is all I just wanted to say um and the fact that he didn't get better makes me sad anyways um hmm what was I gonna say um If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Maybe share your thoughts on this. I really like wanna. I I still like like I really want to make a video on Twilight, but I really do not want to read the book. I still have the I've re I read the first slides of the book and I was like, oh god, it's this kind of book. Anyways. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!